that's the way the white supremacy. That's why in America, a Negro can never be a racist. And why? Because I can dislike you because you're Irish Catholic. I can dislike you because you're Polish. I can dislike you because you're Jewish. That's prejudice. Prejudice is prejudging. Racism is the ability to control somebody else's faith and destiny. And I don't care how bad one might hate white folks, we do not have the power to see to it their children go to a bad school. We do not have the power to see to it that they get brutalized by the police. We don't have the power to see to it they can live in bad neighborhoods, run down neighborhoods, and nothing they can do about it. And so when you look at racism, the ability to control somebody else's faith and destiny, and then you start seeing a whole different thing. But there's some very interesting stuff that's coming out lately about, you know, the, uh, the American have their they income have dropped 40%. Now, think about this. This didn't happen under the president. This has been going on for the last 10 years. 40 That's what you're looking at. And that's where Roosevelt was brilliant during that first Great Depression, when he said there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Mm -hmm. If you go back and hear about Hitler and the Nazis, that he didn't just come to power, he lost election after election, and the economy got bad. And I used to always hear how to get a loaf of bread in Germany. You had to take the money to the store in a wheelbarrow. That's how little the money was worth. And then when you, you had that white mentality, there's a lot of things you can't, oh, you, know, you just can't figure out. We're supposed to be. So then you can blame it on. So they blamed it on the Jews. They blamed it on the Jews. This is my problem. And they get away. They didn't blame it on bad management. They didn't blame it on the politicians. So we, we're going through the same thing now. Yeah, but there's one difference. The only reason we can't produce a Hitler, we can't produce an honest demigod. <laughs> they did. Well, first, why would my grandmother and grandfather or my mother, why would they hear anything about chemtrails when they only hear it? They don't even hear them talk about on NBC or CBS. You don't hear the government talking about it. So you just look up in the skies and you see all them clouds up there. But before I get in that, let me just read this to you. And those of you all who want to do the research, uh, Roger Masters, he's of Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. And here's what he says, and this never ran American paper. Crime linked to pollution. Oh, polluted water can cause brain damage that turns ordinary people into violent criminals. Researcher Roger Matt, well, wait a minute now. If this water is so bad, and they keep talking about how the po folks is failing in this country, uh, I don't have no idea. I might could trace this back to water, to, 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 to polluted water. So consequently, here's scientific data. Polluted water can cause brain damage that turns ordinary people into violent criminals. And then he goes on and he says, uh, New Hampshire, he compared crime figures from the FBI with information on industrial discharge of lead and manganese. Now, lead will run you crazy. Manganese together, you got a piece. So now, listen to me now. Information of industrial discharge of lead and manganese. He found a link between pollution levels and murder, assault and robbery, counties with the highest pollution level have a crime rate triple the nation's average. Now, chemtrails, they mix that stuff together. I looked into one of the planes once. I, I was privileged. To, 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 and he said, they, they, you see these huge, look like oil tanks, uh, oil drums, up there and the tubes coming out and they mixing the stuff and they're putting it in and then they, they, they put it out and then they have another system where they can name aim it anywhere they want to name it. So at nighttime while we sleep, it's a malt liquor. When you, you, you this week, uh, go into a white neighborhood and see if you can buy malt liquor. Why? You can't buy it because it has a thing in it called manganese. And, and once you get enough manganese, you'll kill mom. And so, this is, and so when you look at everybody's talking about uh, shootings in Chicago, 
30 people dead, blah, 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 and it never dawned on us. <laughs> but this is the same thing. The Jews did the same thing. <laughs> Do you realize when the Jews was in them camps, man, there was Germans, Germans that would sneak and tell them what they was planning on doing, and they just couldn't believe it. And they would turn the Germans in. The Germans would be killed. And so we look at the same mentality here. We really believe that this crime rate we're looking at is, is, is black. We really believe that all of this violence we see is black folk.